I'm Eva Katsapian. I'm an associate professor in uh, psychology and special education at the UCL Institute of Education and a collaborator on the UCL Penn Global COVID Study. So I'll be chairing uh, today's session. This summer webinar series is sponsored by the UCL Global Engagement Fund, and the goal is to share our study findings with the public and invite critique and commentaries. I'm very happy to have our esteemed guests joining us today to critique and discuss our findings. A warm welcome to Deborah Slina, MB. Just on the, the, the digital divide, but just I'm really mindful. We are so blessed in the UK to have been a first world country. And whilst there is a huge range of inequalities and disadvantage, it's a different scale in so many countries around the world. Um, Professor David Murphy. David is a clinical psychologist who has worked in the NHS for over 30 years, mainly with patients with physical health problems. As I think back over the COVID pandemic, I think, you know, it's hard not to think of all the desperately sad aspects of it. And it's a bit like a, a, a sort of pond and a, and a stone, the, the COVID virus dropping in and then these rings moving out from the, from the middle and you know, the first thing you think about is the number of people who've died in, in the UK, it's 129,000 and rising of course. Nigel Atter. Uh, Nigel has worked for the BPS for 20 years across a range of positions including course accreditation, BPS qualifications and more recently policy development which focused on developing society policy on children and young people and education policy more generally. By way of introduction I want to talk a little bit about pre, pre-pandemic. Um, prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, with significant progress had been made in improving the lives, health and well-being of people across the globe. Life expectancy was increasing and mortality rates amongst children and mothers was improving. However, depression and anxiety remain one of the most common mental health conditions. Well, first off, thank you all very much for the, uh, all the sharing. I think there's a lot of insights here that we, I think all of us in the audience will take away from this. But I'm just sort of wondering with this issue of mental health access, you know, not just from the pandemic, but on a larger scale, because we've had a lot of talk about um, improving access and how important this is, which I completely agree with. But I wonder if that's coming at the expense of uh, sort of more tangible or more concrete systemic issues such as I pointed out, you know, things like job insecurities, people losing jobs, um, having to work much longer hours, you know, even for students where they're being forced to do this sort of catching up as though we've lost all this time, which are very, I think, prominent stresses. And I think even in, if I call it correctly, the studies um, that the second highest, the, uh, second largest percentage was on getting funding and financial worries. So I'm just sort of thinking, or oh, you know, would like to hear what you think about. Is there a risk that we sweep all this under the issue of mental health access, and therefore not address um, them in their own right? What should we focus on, at least based on what our data has shown? Here, I've picked out the kind of three key areas that I think um, our data supports. Um, and so the first one really is a focus on relationships, um, support and easing people back into social life, maybe particularly important for young children, especially when they're re-entering uh, schools. And then mental health and, and access to mental health should be a priority. And then finally, a final point that I think we should focus on is bereavement and coping with loss. Um, many people in our society now, as a result of the COVID pandemic, has experienced loss in some way, shape or form. Um, so it's so important that we are, uh, we have empathy towards that. And, you know, often these, uh, for, for many people, often this is not an obvious observable thing that you can just see.